Fraser, I guess just Cam Roygaard, what did you make of this mm. game at the, at the weekend? And I guess regardless of that, was, was, was he always going to be in this, this team to go over the Northern Hemisphere? Yeah, he played well, didn't he? He um, straight into it. Hell of an athlete he is. And I was just impressed with his instinctive play, quality of pass, and uh, took a couple of opportunities, scored a few tries, and he's some competitor. Before yeah. that injury, was he number one on your halfback list? Oh, he's on the list. Uh, he was up there, yeah, for sure. Oh, we're, just, um, we're just pleased. We just know how hard he's worked. Uh, it's a competitive position, you know, halfback. It's, a, it's one of the tougher positions to pick. In terms of you guys don't leave till next week, would yeah. you like to see him have another run at NPC this weekend? Yeah, he will have another run. A lot of our players are, I think they're up to oh, high number in the teens here are playing. There yeah. was discussion, was there, was obviously Sam Payne and TJ Kiranara are both going. Was, was it a tough decision or were they always going as well? I know, it was a, it was a deep conversation. Uh, it's always a balance between having the experience, guys that are a test fit. Uh, balance of leadership um, and what does it take to, to win up north and when you looked at it they've, they've got a lot of those qualities, um, they're in a test team playing good footy still, it was a really important um, part of it uh, and you know they can build, they, they can be, they're a big part of uh, helping the next players come through and, and building for the for the future so the, the, in the balance of it that's, uh, that's why they're coming. I guess the other side of the argument is that they're taking spots that you could be investing in another guy as play, playing minutes. Yeah, it is. Oh, yeah, you can look at it that way. We've got an AB15 tour that's going up there that we can use for players to give game time. As you know, the squad's 36, so not all 36 are playing every weekend. Uh, and you know, both teams are on tour and a great opportunity for them to, to learn, play some quality rugby in the north. You won of the, the new World Cup cycle. Was there, how much of a temptation is there? Was there to sort of give more guys a crack this year? Oh, we've given a few already, haven't we? Um, could you give a few more? Yeah, yeah potentially. I, again, like I mentioned, it was the balance of it all. The, uh, having a squad that's well balanced, got cohesion, players can come in and learn, guys have had that experience. You know, Cam's only played a handful of test matches, you know, and so is, so is Cortez. TJ gives us that balance. Um, Luce Ford's um, team's been exceptional. He's still on form and, and the guys are looking after him, so uh, those are the reasons. Does, yeah. does this tour give you a chance to look at your back row mix and perhaps yeah. place a TT at eight and, and Savia at seven? Is, is Savia still a seven option for the Orcs? Uh, yep, yeah, of course he is. Um, he's World Player the, World play of the Year at number eight as well. So it's pretty good he can play both positions. Um, Willis can play all three. Uh, so there's, there's always a balance and mix of the loose forwards. Uh, so the, 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 there's those options. What about Blackhead? Will you see, he's another one that can play across the... He can play all three. It depends on what's required for that test match. Uh, he's a great line-out option as well. We know how physical he is at that test level and you know, he brings a good balance to our loose four as well. Given the yeah. way that Northern back rows play, is mm. he an option at, at seven in the, in, in the squad? Yeah, look, Ethan's played a lot of super and test footy. Well, a few tests at, at seven. Um, as we know, he's really good around the collisions. He's good at hunting. Uh, like a lot of the loose forwards, we've got a good balance in that loose forwards. That's why we've kept him the same. The other question I have is around halfback. Finlay Christie, was he close to getting back in? Yep, yeah, Finn will be a part of the AB15. So he'll get a couple of games up with, with him and, and, and Noah as well. So I've had the conversation and talked to them. So that's why I can let you guys know. Obviously, that, that team is named tomorrow. But, you know, having five quality All Blacks up north is um, important. Just one change to the squad. How yeah. important was it for you to keep that trial tested? Oh, look, it, as we know, I've said before, everything is new, um, and, the, and the squad and the members that have been in have, it, you know, they know our test week, you know how how it works, all our language. Uh, as mentioned, the cohesion is really, really important. And as we go north, and uh, all those little combinations and relationships count. So, you know, we've kept a, a tried. Um, Tried combination. With Sam, on reflection, do you wish he was hanging around for longer? Because he's someone you're clearly looking to to keep in the team, not only for what he can do on the field, but clearly what he brings uh, offered as well. Oh, look, he's made his call. And that's why this end of the tour call was, you know, we had, I had a good conversation with him and TJ about their roles on tour. How does it look? 
how do we get the best out of them, but how do they get the best out of the, the next young All Blacks so they can, can see them come through and they've I've spent a bit of time with them and, and show them what, what test ball, football and touring is all about. Uh, so Sam's got a couple of roles playing on the field and also um, being a, you know, a great um, mentor off. How important are these final five tests of the year when, as Rob says, we're you know, heading back into another year? Oh, they're critical. Every test match is critical. We understand, um, you know, the respect of every team that we play. Um, and every time we play one of these games, you know, it's the biggest game of the year for a lot of these teams. So, you know, any, the Northern Tour is um, critical for us. Get some moment, keep our momentum going. Razor, would it have been trickier to deliver a, a different outcome to one of Sam or TJ, given they've got very similar circumstances around their offshore futures, as opposed to picking them both or not leaving or leaving them both at home? So, what was the start of the question? Sorry, the, would, it yeah. be, would it have been a harder conversation to leave one out and pick one, given they've got very similar circumstances? Is it easier this mm. way? Good. Hadn't thought about it that way. That's that's why you're a journalist, eh? Uh, well, you could look at it that way potentially. No, we just we we picked on merits. There's a reason for it, and uh, they both, like I said before, they don't both understand their roles. Uh, especially the, the great colleague professional rugby players that care about the All Blacks, and we can learn a lot of them. Has it really still... emphasised this mm. year coming back into the All Blacks environment, obviously being a player? How important yeah. experiences? Yeah. Oh, absolutely critical. With the amount, you know, um, just with post World Cup, a lot of the personalities of the guys that have experienced is really critical. Uh, so you can be experienced, and um, but what's the role of the experienced players that they they have in the environment? You know, how they keep their standards, say what needs to be said, and and turn up every training, and their value is critical, huge to us. So hence they come in with us. Mm. George Bell, yeah, he's playing good footy. Uh, all, all, some all positions. There's a lot of competition, which is great. That's what we, what our role and the players' role is to make sure we, that they put their hands up so we can pick them. But yeah, yeah, he's playing good footy, Billy. Ahead of your last five yeah. tests, how would you assess the, the team's attack? You know, I guess it's four tests now since Leon has gone. Are you seeing what you want to see with the, the systems implemented? And what's your progress? Oh, look, a big part of my role is to create, as, as it is with our coaching staff. We've created plenty. Uh, we're just going to finish plenty, <laughs> or plenty more. It's um, you know, like our stats that we have and what, we, what we've done on field and uh, just to finish simple one-on-ones or get across the line or finish a couple of more. There's lots of, there's been a focus for us to make sure we, we create and now, now finish those opportunities. So look, we're really pleased. Uh, it's been some really good footy. Um, we've got to turn that good into great and, and make sure we, we finish the job. Just to clarify, how many All Blacks 15 players will join the All Blacks in Japan? Uh, somewhere between sort of maybe four to six, just as cover. Yep. Yeah. You speak of the team, but on a personal front, yeah. to use a rugby term, what are some of the key learnings you'll take from this first part of the year into this end of year tour? Uh, key learning is you've got to learn quick, from week to week. Uh, learn quick. Um, again, personally, how I, how I can help the whole group, um, my messaging to the group how I can work closely with officials, with the captaincy, with game management uh, from week to week uh, and, and adapt what, what, what's important for this test match in, in front. That's one thing. Um, the other thing is to make sure you keep your energy right. You know, you, you, the boys got to be, you see the, yourself consistently each week. Uh, um, keep connected. Uh, yeah. There are obviously names raised, but where, where are the Geordie... Uh, Ruben will play this week. Who was the other two, sorry? Uh, Fletch and Newell. Oh, Fletch and Newell. Fletch is available this weekend as well, and Geordie's, Geordie's on track for, you know, potentially the Japanese test. So it's good news. Obviously, results are the big thing, but, but outside of that, what are you looking to get out of this, for I guess this to be a successful Northern Tour in your eyes? Ah, uh, some performances uh, that we, we finish. <laughs> yeah, like I said before, we're creating a lot, but finishing... Uh, finishing by you know scoreboard pressure, um, turning the opportunities we create into uh, to pitch on the opposition and get results. Just just going back to Sam McKay, he, he was he was excellent in South Africa, but he yeah. missed a couple of tackles in both those Australian games that 
prepared to try, so you know, sort of quite costly. Are you concerned about his, you know, defensive? Is that just an aberration, or are you asking him to step up a wee bit in terms of, you know, line speed on defence? I just mean what what players if you're going to if. You, you going to make tackles in front of you. So we, look, we have conversations every week with all our players and, you know, you've got to make those. Mm. On this tour, you're going to be playing three teams in World Rugby's top five in consecutive weeks. Yeah. So how big a challenge is that? Is this like a, a really substantial challenge that you're facing? Yeah, it is. It's substantial. It's exciting, isn't it? Uh, that's the way you play footy. There's big occasions on the big stage and see how people step up, you know, you create an environment that the guys go and... Look forward to the opportunity and, and, and uh, respect their duty with the great, great performances, and that's our focus. Kapai, thank you. Cheers, everyone. Thank you.